Good morning, first grade. So we have been uh, discussing the word analyze. That's one of our vocabulary terms. And that that means to examine closely, to really dig in and look intently into what something means, okay? So um, we've been looking at what this means biblically. What does this mean in our walk as Christians, as Jesus lovers? And so we yesterday looked at two scripture points that were Old Testament. And today we are going to look at two more that are in the New Testament. So let's read those. The first one is this, James 1, 22 through 24. Do what God's teaching says. Do not just listen and do nothing. When you only sit and listen, you're fooling yourselves. A person who hears God's teaching and does nothing is like a man looking in a mirror. <sighs> yeah, he sees his face and then he goes away quickly and he forgets what he looked like. And then we have Romans 12 too. Do not be shaped by this world or formed by this world. Instead, be changed, be transformed within by a new way of thinking. This is called renewing your mind. Then you will be able to decide what God wants for you. And you will be able to know what is good and pleasing to God and what is perfect. And so I want to talk about it today. How do we do these things? How do we examine ourselves so that we aren't shaped by the world, that we're shaped by Jesus, by Holy Spirit? Okay, and so remember, we are made up of a spirit, a soul, and a body. The spirit and soul are very similar. But remember, when we accept Jesus, he comes and he lives in unity with our spirit. And so our soul, which is our mind, our will, the way that we, the things that we want to do, right? Our, our intentions and our, our emotions and then our body, all that stuff has to get into agreement with what the spirit of God in us is saying. And so how do we do that? Hmm. I'm not gonna give you the answer today, but I want you to think about it. Sit with mom and dad, have this conversation. How do I walk as the way the Lord would have me to walk? And let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we come before you today. We thank you, God, that when we're not able, Lord, you are. We thank you, God, that you care about changing the things that are not in agreement with you, Lord. We don't want to be like the man who looks in the mirror and forgets his face. We don't want to be formed by the world, but we want to be transformed by your word, Jesus. And so, Father, we... Um, thank you, God, for teaching us how to analyze, how to examine ourselves, Father. Lord, um, we want to look in the mirror and we want to see Jesus. We want to be so hidden in you, God, that when others look at us, that is who we reflect, is your son. And so, Lord, we ask that you would come, move deeply in our lives, Father. Um, be with us today in our work. Do all things unto you. It's in your name we pray. Amen. All right, so we have two learning targets. Our first one is to be able to create a sign with an illustration and a reason to support your opinion. Our second learning target is to contribute to write the introduction, the opinion statement, the reason, and the conclusion in a shared opinion paragraph. So we will do that today together. 